hi guys welcome back to my channel so one of you lovelies had asked me how to do a video telling you guys how i protect my relaxed hair or the best way to protect your relaxed hair and it's not just any one thing that you should do to protect your relaxed hair i actually do a number of things to protect my relaxed hair and if you are on a uh, 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 hair journey like me a journey to tailbone length then definitely you're going to want to protect your relax here if you're a relaxed girl or even if you're a natural girl because all of these tips that i'm going to give you guys right now are tips which i brought over from my natural hair journey to know my relax hair journey so yeah so and before i go into these tips i just want to say again thank you so much for all my new subscribers and hey 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 and hello i am kelia mcfarlane if you haven't subscribed yet subscribe to my channel i really appreciate it so let's get into this video you are what i'm looking for okay so i do i have written down all my tips here on my ipad so that i don't forget the things that i want to tell you guys that i've done to protect my relaxed hair of course i'm gonna include i'm gonna insert a clip as well to show you the length of my relaxed hair currently currently i'm beating some box braids these box braids are now three weeks old and they're so lovely as you can see still rocking my my boho knotless braids i have actually cut off the curly parts because I did use a human hair for the curly parts and it has begun to get knotted. So I cut them off. So now I'm just having my braids leave. So yeah. So to protect my relaxed hair, I'm going to give you guys these tips. First one, moisturizing. You need to make sure that your hair is well hydrated. Make sure that you're doing regular deep conditioning for your relaxed hair. And for me... Because I, I've become so intentional about my relax hair journey that I have came up with my own natural deep treatment for my relaxed hair. We see when it comes to relax to moisture, there's a lot of things that comes into that. My moisture journey, as I said, I made my own deep treatment mask for my hair with natural ingredients and you cannot go wrong with natural ingredients because sometimes when you buy some of these products and you think that it has the best quality natural ingredients in them some of these products that we tend to buy for our hair are really money-making thing and there's nothing much in it so i try to develop my own products for my hair and incorporate that in my hair regimen along with some of the other quality products that you can find on the market out there so my deep treatment i use aloe vera with other natural ingredients like rosemary and so on combined in them and create my own deep treatment mask that helps to add moisture to my hair you know that you want to use oils not too much you don't want to go overboard with the oiling but i use oil the one i'm currently using right now is the myel mainly i'm using this myel hair oil it is lightweight it is rich it smells good it makes my scalp really good and this it can be used on your scalp on your hair and it just works so this is what i use to seal my my hair along with water along with also i use this motions daily oil moisturizer sometimes on my hair and sometimes when i use the mild oil i don't even have to use this but from time to time i use this on my hair as well another thing i use i use that if you if you've been consistently watching my videos you'll see that i use a scalp treatment from arisulfa it's called arisulfa scalp blend i might insert it on the screen for you to see and that is excellent for my scalp i know we're talking about moisture but that also adds my moisture to your hair so it's excellent for my scalp if you have itchy scalp if you have dandruff you struggle with dandruff and those kind of things trust me if you try the arisol for scalp blend it does wonders for your hair and also that scalp blend can also be put on 
the ends of your hair as well so you just have to be wise in the products that you choose and if you can take the time out to develop your own from natural ingredients do that as well so that's it for moisture you want to keep your hair moisturized all the time not dry and because when it's dry when your hair is dry it easily breaks easily breaks and you see it start fall out and then you won't be able to retain your length number two gentle styling and this cannot be overemphasized. whenever you use whenever you're combing your hair be very gentle with your hair love on your hair me i am very tender with my relaxed hair so most times now that it's relaxed i i won't say i don't comb through my hair but with wide tooth comb so for me these are the combs i use unless i'm like say gonna part my hair i'll use a thin the tail comb to part my hair or so or i'm gonna relax my hair i use that but like when i'm washing when i'm combing this is the comb that i use to detangle my hair to go through when i wash it this is the one i might use when it's dry and bouncy and everything so you need to use wide tooth comb to help with gentle styling you don't want to put in styles in your hair that's gonna pull on your hair the front and the corners of your hair and tear it out because even though i have this box braid in my hairdresser the hairdresser that i choose she's so excellent that it's not tight it is neat yet it's not tight so it's not it's not pulling on my hair you know what i'm saying or even when you're doing like braids try to do the knotless knotless is more gentle on your your strands than if you should try to braid it from the root all right so that you want to be gentle and soft with your hair if you intend on growing it um so another thing number three you're gonna limit heat styling you're gonna have to minimize the use of heat styling tools and use protectant sprays when necessary when you are say you're gonna straighten your relaxed hair for me first because i've been relaxed twice so when i was relaxed the first time some years ago when it comes to straightening my hair i never used to protect my hair with the proper heat protectant the heat protectant that i currently use is one from Cantu. um that i use it it smells so good and it protects my hair from overheat that can damage it so you want to make sure that you limit heat if i am not say gonna straighten my hair which i rarely do with a flat iron most of the times i don't even want to sit under a cap dryer to even get my hair dried a lot of times i ear dry i roll a set it ear dry it if if it's in the way hours of the night and i really want my hair to get dried quickly i might use a blow dryer and dry it out and that's about it so limited heat heat is very important if you intend on protecting your relaxed hair and retaining your lens and having it grow number four trim your relaxed hair like some people are so obsessed with long hair that they neglect the health of their hair and you really cannot do that you like you cannot be so obsessed with long hair that you neglect your relaxed hair trim those ends your hair will look much more healthy when you schedule those regular trims and trim away that split end to maintain a healthy hair because when you have the split ends your hair easily split away easily break off but when you trim it it doesn't only look better but your the health of your hair will be maintained better so trimming is extremely important don't want to have long hair and end up having your hair looking really foolish stupid um unhealthy trim that hair let it have it look bouncy so that you can maintain your length and, and get rid of those split ends so that is number four number five hmm wearing silk satin and silk accessories in your hair is very important all right i can say i am guilty of probably not always using silk pillowcases but once you cover your hair with silk bonnet or so then you won't really need to use a silk pillowcase because your hair is already is your, your hair is already in a silk bonnet so for me i use the silk stuff especially on this new hair journey to protect my hair from breakage and friction and all of that so i'm talking about stuff like this is one of my favorite 
hair bonnets. So the outside is not silk, but the inside where your hair would reside is silk. This is one. Also, this is another one that I use. This this one is very big so that it can hold a lot of hair like my braids. And if your hair is extremely long, relaxed. This one, I use this one as well. Now that I'm, my hair is braided, I know that a lot of you don't wear bonnets, but it's important as well. I use this one for my braids so it can hold my braids really well. It doesn't have to get my hair too ragged and all of that and pull on my strands and so so now listen for when my hair is not in braids and not in a, another style or i don't wear the wigs these are what i use to wrap my relaxed hair and it is inside of this this is silky the mesh inside is also very much silky and this is what i use to wrap my relaxed hair and you need items like these to protect your hair because when you just sleep without anything on your hair, your hair easily break. It just breaks off. It keeps ragged. All the moisture rubs out and all of that. Then if you should use these that are silky and nice to keep your hair intact, keep the moisture in, and to prevent that excess amount of friction on your hair. All of this is very important when protecting your relaxed hair. So number six protective styling so you need to consider styles like simple braids like what i have on that doesn't pull on your the root of your hair like the knotless is very good for protective styling some form of twist also important for protective styling and when you wear the protective styles then you won't have to manipulate your hair too much so less manipulation will have you retaining more of your length you'll have less shedding and your hair will breathe and grow than if you should be combing your hair every single day exposing it to sunlight and the air to dry it out and all of that so protective styling is another important thing apart from these knotless braids for me what i also do for protective styling is wigs i have a quite a number of wigs that i wear a lot and trust me wigs are even better for protecting your hair than braids because if you don't know how to properly care for your braids and you spray a lot of sheen oily sheen and stuff on your hair with the braid it can wrap your hair and it make it get knotted and soft and break off easily so wigs if you are somebody who loves wigs try try using wigs to protect your hair from sunlight from excesses excessive wind and humidity and you will see difference in your relax hair and it will grow so girl come on this here journey with me that's for number six and number seven you need to do regular touch-ups now some people are of the notion that when you stay away from your relaxer very long it's better for your relax here it's actually not don't exceed don't exceed six weeks to eight weeks for your relaxer because when the root of your hair is natural and the rest of it is relaxed and you need to comb through it it's gonna have more friction and tension in your hair and it's gonna break a lot more easier so i'm not saying to i'm not saying to over process your hair or process it too often with relax so but make sure that you keep up your relaxer because it's very important very 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 important so for me currently i relax my hair every eight weeks every two months I relax my hair and also another pro tip when you're relaxing your hair you cannot keep relaxing on hair that was already processed the only parts of your hair that you're supposed to put the relaxer on is the part the new growth because if you keep on putting relaxer in on the already processed hair then it's gonna damage your hair it's gonna become over processed it's gonna break off and you do not want that also another pro tip when it comes to relaxing your hair you can even not relax it to utmost processing so you can half process it or three quarter process it here so that it is not too relaxed next to over relaxed so that it breaks easily all right so and my final tip is balanced diet we need to maintain balanced diet nutrient rich diet with vitamins and minerals to help for your hair because what you put in is what you get out i remember your hair is coming out from the inside and everything you do and eat it also affects your hair as well 
I can say I am a pro when it comes to balanced diet because I struggle with vegetables and all those type of things. But even if you can include some vitamin tablets in your diet every now and then to add nutrients, you know, that's important. Biotin is another nutrient you can, you know, you can add to your diet through pills and all of that even through like my mild hair oil has biotin in it when you choose your hair products you can also look for these ingredients as well so guys these are my eight tips these are my eight tips for protecting your relaxed hair moisturizing is important gently styling your hair is important limit the amount of heat application trim those ends honey trim your ends use silk accessories silk bonnet silk like this that i have in my hair is silk use these type of things protective hairstyles braids wigs con rows those type of things use them regular touch up make sure you get your process your hair relaxed when it's time to relax it don't over relax it don't do it too often but just the right time every two months is adequate and of course maintain a balanced diet so this is what i have for you today if you like this video give us a thumbs up make sure to subscribe if you haven't and share my videos with your friends there are a host of other videos on my channel which you can check out as well i do deep treatment videos with natural ingredients that i've created i do a lot of other videos that you can enjoy come and be a part of the kalia gang as i always say and until next time your change queen is out peace